Okay, it's time once again for a review of a plant-based meat substitute by me, a non-vegan. This time it's This Isn't Pork Sausages. So this isn't pork sausages. Now every time I do one of these videos I get people complaining about the naming of these products and I don't usually have a problem but this time I do and there are rules about this sort of thing and I take exception to this being called this isn't pork sausages. I think that's completely wrong and this product should not be named this. It's an outrage. The correct name for this product is these are not pork sausages. There, fix that for you. Right anyway so some rather sad looking sausages which have sagged to the bottom of the pack because these things are displayed like that on the shelf in the supermarket. We've got six sausages. As usual there's way too much going on in the pack here for me to read it, all of this. So what I'll do is I'll scan this and I'll put it on the screen now. If you're interested in reading that in detail pause and have a look. Ingredients are rehydrated textured pea protein, water, olive oil, thickeners which is methyl cellulose, konjac, carrageenan, xanthan gum, a kind of Thickeners assemble, pea protein isolate, natural flavouring, dried onion, pea starch, dextrin, salt, sage, black pepper, white pepper, ground mace, dextrose colour which is beetroot red, acidity regulator, calcium hydroxide, preservative which is sodium metabisulfite. So Jenny can't have these because she's allergic to sulfites. But I'm going to cook these now and make a sausage sandwich. So cooking instructions are just to fry for seven to eight minutes in a frying pan. So let's get on and do that. Just going to put a little bit of oil in the pan just to stop them sticking. It's a non-stick pan and the sausages themselves have got some fat in them but I'm just going to put some extra in there just to stop them sticking right off the bat. So, well I'm not a great fan of this style of sausage. This style of sausage is quite popular in Britain so if these were made from pork it would be very very finely ground pork mixed with probably rusk and water and I'm not a massive fan of that style of sausage actually I prefer a bit more of a chunky texture and a higher meat content in my sausages but these are replicating your kind of British banger which is a relatively low meat content sausage so you know the bar isn't all that high there anyway for these We're coming up to the seven or eight minutes prescribed cooking time. They have puffed up a little bit and the appearance is kind of normal for a sausage. What I'm going to do is something that I quite often do with sausages when I'm cooking them for a sausage sandwich. I'm just going to take one of these away from this pan and slice it open and butterfly it. So just to see how these take to that treatment, what I quite often do if I'm cooking sausages for a sandwich is slice them open and then kind of return them to the pan flat like that so they can take a bit of colour on this flat side, on the cut side. So let's do that with one of them. In fact I'm going to do that with two of them so we can see what it's like. Well as they're cooking there's a kind of slightly sour smell to them. They don't smell meaty at all. Of course there is no meat in them so that's to be expected really but anyway. I'm going to stop there actually because these don't seem to be these seem to have reached a kind of a plateau for browning. I've got a feeling they're going to burn if I go any further than this and that probably won't be nice. Let's get them out of the pan, assemble the sandwiches now and then give them a taste. So the butterfly ones have taken a bit of colour on the inside, that's the intention. Regular sausages, well, they don't look that exciting. Before I go ahead and assemble the sandwiches, I'm just going to taste a bit of one of these completely on its own as it comes straight out of the pan. So the, the visual texture inside, well, that's not unusual for a British banger. Like I say, not my favourite style of sausage, but the appearance of these is not atypical. Let's give it a taste. Texture's not bad, I would say better texture than those Richmond ones we had. Um, flavour's a bit weird. Flavour's almost like a kind of stir fry vegetable flavour in there. Almost like banana notes in there as well. How strange. Right, sausage sandwich. So this is the butterfly one. In fact what I'm going to do, I'll put one butterfly pre-cooked and then I'll do one that I slice after cooking in each sandwich. So two sausages in each sandwich. I'm going to try them with mustard 
and with ketchup. So that's the one that was butterflied prior to cooking. This is the one which I'm just going to slice after cooking. So ketchup on this one and of course the brown sauce brigade will be up in arms about that because apparently some people have a notion that only certain sauces can be put on only certain kinds of things. Never really understood that very well myself but there it is. On this other one I'm going to have a bit of English mustard on there. Let's get these to the table and give them a taste. Okay right here we go then. Fake sausage sandwiches. My little companion Eva is here to watch me eat. You can have a taste in a minute okay. So this isn't, sorry, these are not pork sausages with ketchup first. Well, the texture is kind of within the range of, ex sorry, you got something to say. So the texture is kind of within the range of accepted values for a British banger. The flavor is just lacking some kind of robustness really. And same thing with mustard. That works better I think because the mustard is obviously masking some of the differences between this and a pork sausage. Well they're kind of okay, the flavour's a bit kind of lacklustre really. Interestingly there isn't a prominent pea protein flavour in these. Now often when I eat things made of pea protein I comment that I can taste the pea protein in them. In fact I said that with one of the products that didn't have pea protein in it, it was soya protein. But often I can taste the vegetable protein or I can taste something weird in these products that isn't meat it's some kind of other protein with these I can't taste that so I can't detect that weird pea protein flavor in this product so I suppose that's a plus butterflying those sausages and putting them back in the pan didn't seem to make any difference really that extra bit of sear really hasn't got any extra flavor but yeah without the mustard those sausages just taste a bit weird I think it's time for the all-important Eva test so I give her a tiny little bit pea protein is quite safe for dogs breakfast in bed Got a paw? Can you give me a paw when you're lying down? You try, couldn't you? Oh, she didn't spit it out, so I think Eva's opinion of that was it's all right in that. What do you think, Eva? It's all right in that. You said you looked like you were going to say something there. So there we go. This isn't pork sausages, or rather, these are not pork sausages. They're okay. The texture, I would say, is closer to a real British banger than the Richmond sausages. The flavour is just weirdly off to one side. It tastes like stir-fried vegetables, almost with that kind of vinegary, sweet and sour vibe to it. Don't know what that is, but there it is. So I hope that was interesting. Thanks for watching, and I hope to see you again soon.